may adlaw na tong tanan. You have got to stop doing sit-ups and crunches, especially if you are an older adult. There is a better way to improve your core strength and develop your core muscles. In this video, I'm going to show you three simple yet effective core strengthening exercises that you can do on your bed using only your body weight. And these exercises are the top three that is recommended by Harvard Health that will work several core muscle groups at the same time. Plus, these exercises are easy to follow and modify according to your fitness level. So watch until the end so that you will learn on how to correctly and safely perform them and check out the results for yourself if you will do this for several weeks. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. So according to World Health Organization, 37 million older adults fall every year. And falling is the leading cause of injury and death. Injury might mean you will have a fracture or a broken bone or even just a muscle strain. So do not be a statistic. You need to improve your balance. And in order to improve your balance, you need to improve your core muscle strength. So if you're ready, let's get on with it. Go to your bed, lie down flat on your bed because the first exercise is the bridging. So to do the bridging, lie on your back, bend your knees, put your hands on the bed for support. And then when you lift your hips up, squeeze your butt muscles, your glutes and hold it for a few seconds, all right? And then bring it back down. So let's try to do three more. Squeeze your glutes, hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, down. Two more. Lift your butt up. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back down. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, and bring it back down. And that is your bridge. The next exercise is the plank. By the way, the core muscles does not just mean your abs, your six pack. It includes your hips, your pelvis, your glutes, even your quads. This will protect you when you do your day-to-day -day activities, this will improve your balance. This keeps your balance when you're walking or just standing. So the next exercise is the plank. So th when you do the plank, put your wrist just below your shoulders and then be on your toes. Hold this for a few seconds or as long as you can, all right? If you cannot do this, do the modified plank. So just be on your knees elbow just below your shoulder and hold it like that. Pick your feet up to give you more resistance and challenge, all right? So you can do this, but I can tolerate doing this. So keep your body straight. Do not go this way or do not go this way. Just keep your body straight. Now correct me if I am not keeping my body straight. So just comment down below and I will take constructive criticism. All right, so hold it for a few seconds and then slowly just go back down to rest. If you want, you can go to child's pose just to relax, okay? And then go back again. Just like that, hold it for about five seconds or as long as you can. So let's just hold this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and relax again. Do the child's pose. Move your wrist if they hurt, and go to the next exercise, which is the alternating arm and leg racing. So we will be on our fours first. That will be the starting position. But before we do that, I am going to do the, um, Attendance check. So just type down below, just to be sure that you're following along. Type down below, adaptable. Again, the word is adaptable, okay? So type it down below. 
Okay, so let's go on to the alternating arm and leg racing, all right? So be on your fours. Again, wrists and hands below your shoulder and be on your knees. So you are going to raise the opposite side. So when you raise your left leg up, raise your right arm up like that. Hold it for about two to three seconds and then reset. Let's do the other side and reset. All right, let's do three more. Let's go. One, two, three, and reset to the other side. One, two, three, reset. Let's do two more. One, two, three, reset. One, two, three, reset. One more round. One, two, three, reset. And one, two, three, reset. These exercises are very challenging, but easily modified according to your fitness level. So if you can only do one, do one and then rest, okay? The rest break is very important. I don't want you to be sore tomorrow, but be consistent with your exercise. Try to do this every day, just on your bed. There's no need for floor or any other equipment, okay? So if you have any questions, clarifications or any suggestions, comments, just type it down below in the comment section, okay? And be consistent with your exercises. Share this to your family and friends. And please, if you find this video helpful, I am short of breath, click on the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and click on that notification bell. And just a reminder, consistency is the key, and never give up. Until next time, paalam!